Yep, here's a, here's a guy that's very important. Um, made um, outstanding contributions to um, weather and tornadoes. He's nicknamed as Mr. Tornado. His name is uh, Ted Fujina. Fujina. <laughs> but um, he's the one that developed the F scale from F0 to F5. He developed the tornado uh, scale. And from the smallest tornado at F0 to uh, the most powerful tornado, the F5. And um, it can have over 300 miles an hour winds. But um, by the damage caused by tornadoes, that's how they scientifically, or he scientifically developed the Fujina scale, the F scale of tornadoes. This is a guy that saved a lot of lives. Giving people uh, a lot more leg time. When it went from a negative already happened um, leg time to uh, a few minutes leg time but this is a very important, uh, very important person who died in 1998. Mr. Fujina, Fujina, I gotta say that word right. Fujina, F U J I T A. Um. And he had all the pieces together to um, help people uh, not get killed in tornadoes by giving a, a, a lot longer leg time before the tornado hit in the area you're in. But he gave a lot of a lot of leg time from uh, a negative leg time to quite a bit of leg time before a tornado hit. He, he's a very important man and like I said he died in 1998. Here's the scale uh, he developed It's Dr. Um, Ted uh, Fujita. He developed this F scale from F0 to F5. And that was through a lot of, a lot of study of what happened when a tornado hit. Here's some pictures of uh, Doppler, Doppler radar. Um, it was developed in 1973, um, especially for uh, weather related storms and tornadoes. But um, that's Doppler radar. In nineteen seventy three is when that was developed. Here are some great shots of um, tornadoes. According to uh, Mr. or uh, Dr. Fujina, um, almost all tornadoes have multiple multiple 
vortexes, um, but you just can't see them because they're small around around the vortex of the big um, tornado, and they go around and around the big tornado. But there's almost all tornadoes have a multiple multiple vortex around the bottom that go around and around the main tornado. The reason I say that is because um, Mr. V uh, Dr. Vidina said he was trying to figure out um, what causes more damage than what should be. And that's because of the multi multiple uh, vortexes around the base of all tornadoes. And he was also trying to figure out why some tornadoes go miles and miles and miles where other tornadoes just go short distances. And it, it depends on the updraft. And he found that out, um, or the downdraft. Um, it depends on the downdraft. And he found that out by, by uh, having to invest, investigate a plane crash that looked like it w <clears throat> there wasn't a tornado and uh, because of there wasn't any debris in it so you can't see you can't see air the tornado to be able to see a tornado it has to have something in it so it's very possible to have an invisible tornado and it'll kill you just the same it's just it's just that it has to have debris in it, whether it be a cloud, whether it be a cloud like that, or dirt like that, um, like that, or debris. It has to have debris in it for you to see it, because you can't see air. And uh, Mr. Fujina was, or Dr. Fujina uh, was investigating investigating a, a plane crash that it was a mystery to everybody and he found out that there was a um, huge downdraft um, that downed the, the plane and killed I don't know 115 people or something like that and they were wondering why other airplanes could land and didn't have any problem and other, other uh, airplanes had a little problem but not that much but that airplane was crushed to the ground by the down by the uh, downdraft. It was crushed to the, to the ground, so of course everybody died. And that's what Dr. Fujina find out found out. And that was his last uh, link to the puzzle he needed. It is about the downdrafts and what fuels that tornado, and why some tornadoes travel many miles where other tornadoes just travel short distances. That's it. The downdraft that feeds that tornado. See, multiple, multiple, that's a multiple, uh, multiple vortex. So you can see it because um, it has debris in it. Now if that didn't have, de that side one right over there, if that didn't have debris, you wouldn't be able to see it. And there's probably uh, a couple other ones going around that. Not just that one. That's why you never want to be close to any tornado. It's because you cannot see air spinning and that air will kill you. This is just as if uh, uh, like that tornado right there. This is a, just because it's black don't mean it's any more dangerous um, than a clear one. A clear one will kill you just as well as that except that has more debris in it. One you can't see will kill you. And that's a fact. Uh, uh, Dr. Fujina proved it by that plane being down. So it's a fact. It's not some guess. It's a fact. That something you can't see, like a tornado, uh, with no debris in it, will kill you. And many others, like that plane being down in 15... Um, or uh, 115 people died